Welcome to Hardcraft Stadium, birthplace of the Micro Hard Mutilators. Today's game brought to you by Micro Hard Crash and Burn Technologies. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The San Francisco 49ers take on the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are attuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the NFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a thought thing, Snags. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. <laughs> and this is a first and look. They've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. down and forever. Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah. Oh. Scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and forever. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when the receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. 
boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. First and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and mech. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Briggs? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down in a mile. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And the defender just got cut in half. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third down and nine. First and ten. We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And the QB might as well just bury him. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Deadlines ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. My grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it.
Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two. Running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Hot one, hot two. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? Second down and six, and the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the quarterback. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. First and ten. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Second down and more than the QB would like. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down and long. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. He could go all the way. First and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk ball. That's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. First and ten. Man, what a hit that was. And that'll be second, ten, and four. The defense better look out. The offense called the beast boot dirty trick. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. First and four. Oh, he's going 
Berserk. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Emily breaks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. The 30. He's at the 20. The 10. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. Seriously, mate, any of those toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second and three. Runs angry and runs hard. First down. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Grant, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, at least they can pee for me, too. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven baked porta John in here. For a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just gonna take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Run there, picks up the first down. 
QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them, time out. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. No receivers open, so the QB just threw the ball away. And get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Let's move on. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brick. It means he can return it for You know what? Never mind. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. And it's first and ten. Nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. <laughs> and they'll bring up third down and seven. Well, they 
they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great field position. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and nine. Crusher right there, folks. Third down and nine. He zings it in there for a four yard gain. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arching rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Second down in a very lot. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and the punter is warming up. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Oh, and the ref just bought himself one more play of life with some moves that would put some of our Hall of Famers to shame. Oh, good. That gives me time to get odds on him. Someone give me a phone.
They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Third down and, well, good luck. <laughs> and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. <laughs> and that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Second down and five. And he picks up maybe four on that play. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and seven. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Third 
one and four. Caught for the first down. First and eight to go. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Wow, two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting corpse at the edge of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing scoring machine. What a story. What a, what a wonderful story. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means a touchdown! <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. The brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. This is your brain. And this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer. And it's first and ten. And the two-minute warning sounds. There's not much time left at all. And it's first and ten. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. And it's first and ten. And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. 
That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And no more timeouts. The D needs to stop. This is intense. No, Grim. Camping is intense. <laughs> Get it? Idiot. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go. He's unstoppable. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. <laughs> the micro-hard mutilators lose the game today. The opposition came into town and stole one from them. It's a bitter one-point loss. Just like a thief in the night. They should go to jail. Stealing ain't right, Grim. Let's listen to what the game's most valuable player has to say about it. Why? The guy's got the intelligence of a horseshoe. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.